does a little weird thing in reverse. It turns in reverse. What's up with that? Oh, the gyro is on. That's right. So I got to adjust some stuff here. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that gyro. And I don't know if this is what's going to adjust the gyro or not. So I'm going to take this out with me just in case. I'm also going to take this one out with me because this is a flat blade. Of the 3S pack that they provided, it was in storage charge, slightly a little bit above, which is fine. So this has a gyro. Look at that. Look at that little gyro working. It might be a little too sensitive. So a gyro is, look at that. We'll see. So when it goes backwards, it does something a little funny. Steering radius is terrible. Ooh. Oh, it grinds. Oh, it grinds the pavement. <laughs> On the turns, it grinds the pavement. So, and that is, that's the body hitting. So the body is hitting. I don't like that. It, uh, yeah, it's gonna jack up the body. All right, I don't want to jack up the body. So let's, um, let's see if I can just take care of this real quick. I don't want the body getting all mangled. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna increase the spring tension because right now the way it is, it's gonna jack up the lower edge of the body. So the springs are all the way up anyway. So let's go ahead and give these some tension. Try to give them equal amount of tension here so you're gonna want these cranked anyway if this is gonna be driving yeah it feels a little bit better they are even so hopefully that will help it out so it says it's an all-road definitely um, because of its scale all-road part of it you're really gonna have to think about so if you're gonna take this thing off-road which is kind of part of that all-road you're gonna want to take it on a groomed track surface because the way this thing is designed it is not designed in a sense for that uh, all-road and this thing having drift tires is the reason why it has drift tires so Oh, it's a, that's a little better. Still does grind a little bit. Whoa. Whew. It's got good suspension though. <laughs> it's, it's wicked low slung, man. This thing is so low slung. I think I need to put the camera on the car. All right. All right, should be warmed up now. Let's see what we got. So we've got quit, no, cancel. All right, so we've got uh, 11 satellites. We're gonna go ahead and hit drag. I mean, uh, track, start, and you can see we've got something there. There should be a ripper on 3S. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Probably good for, uh, Good for drifting, maybe on 2S. It's tracking pretty good. It's got the little bit of a wigwag. All right, so we went uh, 600 and something feet, I think I saw. So stop, read, we've got a high speed of 20 miles an hour. We went 686 feet. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit drag. 132 feet, right? Let's see what this thing does for drag racing. The steering, um, going in reverse with this gyro is a little weird. So in reverse, this gyro is definitely weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. This is a drag race. So ready, three, two, one, go. So at 132 feet, it's just gonna stop. So I think that was my 132 feet. Let's just bring it back. It's got good brakes. So we've got uh, Reed. We're looking at 19 miles an hour. So we've got our acceleration. Literally, it just hits full speed like right away. And then you've got its speed curve just slowly accelerating. So 5.35 at 132 feet. So let's try this again. Back. Shouldn't have hit start yet. So put it up to a line. All right, start, drag, start, ready, go. I should have been it, wide open. <laughs> it's got some torque. Reed, 541 at, one, at uh, yeah, 119. 5.14 at 19 miles an hour. I did bring out the wrench because with the other car that I had there, major problem that I had with that other car was the fact the wheel nuts were loose. I was just able to get a little bit of a crank on that wheel nut on the back. So, and I was able to tweak all four corners so let's see what we got here back out of here go to track start see what we can get for speed oh comes a truck stop All right, try it again. Stop, read, 11 miles an hour. Start, well we got 20 miles an hour so far. I think that's top speed. Range is all right, man. That's about as far as I'd want to go with this thing. going pretty straight <laughs> think it needs some diff tuning maybe we'll see front and rear diff tuning stop read no crashes 19 miles an hour we're slowing down so the concern that I had uh, was heat with this thing, just because it does have that cover, the dust shield. So I did kind of want to, real quick, pop this open here, get my finger in there and feel what we're feeling here. So because, yeah, you can actually feel heat coming out of this little section right here. So the fans are definitely doing their job. Motor's totally fine. So no issue with the motor. Definitely need to get this on 3S. It's got that um, fresh, just run electrical smell, which is normal. I think this thing would be pretty fun at a skate park. That was at 75%. So what I want to do is I want to check the speed on 100%. So 75% we were able to get 
one time 20 miles an hour two times 19 miles an hour and then we did a drag which I didn't record that and I probably should have screenshot it so drag might still be on here no it's not all right so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with track first so we are now at a hundred percent throttle so last speed you can see right there 12 satellites 19 miles an hour cancel gonna go ahead and hit track and we're set and ready to go start let's see how fast we can get a hundred percent throttle way different <laughs> Okay. All right. You see that? So, basically, where that mailbox is, beyond their driveway, is technically the distance that I just got with this. So what I want to do is I want to take my... I'm going to take my thing. My thing? Don't get crazy. I'm going to take my uh, distance meter, and I want to see the distance that it took basically safely probably to the driveway is where your distance is going to be and that was keeping the remote at a kind of low down level once i brought it up we did regain signal back so here we go high speed pass lights are on that's way better Boy, those lights are bright, man. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's definitely not an all-road. It's kind of like an on-road. So let's see what we got for a max speed. I did have the lights on. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lights off, just to not draw power. So stop. Read. So on, okay, so on 100%, we gained an eight or seven mile per hour increase. So I am gonna give it one more run, go back, start. You can see we got some uh, telemetry there. And there we, here we go, one, two, three, rip. It does have a little bit of a soft start, which is not too bad. Oh, I just crashed onto my neighbor's lawn. So I'm gonna have to retrieve it because it's in the grass. <laughs> I can't tell whether if it's on its wheels or, or what. No, I don't think so. Oh, it got off. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see you ripping these ties apart, man. I can definitely see these ties getting ripped apart. All right. Let's see what we got for a speed here. Stop. Read. 27 miles an hour is going to be the max speed. So you saw it right there. So you saw it right there. This little speed demon right here. The Hyper Four-Wheel Drive All-Road from MJX RC. This thing right here, 27 miles per hour out of the box and 19 or 20 miles an hour out of the box at 75% and then the 27 miles an hour for two times, whoa, for two times, uh, 27 miles per hour on 100% throttle, only on 2S. So that 3S battery is probably done charging, but this is where this video is going to end. If you want to see how this thing goes on 3S, I am going to toss in that uh, 120C pack as well. So I'm going to run the pack that they provided with me, and I'm also going to run that 1300 milliamp pack that I have that's 120C pack. So anyways, Zarcy Guy Garage, we are out here with the MJX HyperGo four-wheel drive off-road Hoonicorn looking truck or Hoonigan truck. One's called Huna truck. Huna truck is the Huna truck. You got this thing right here, man. This thing is, this thing is pretty slick. I'm liking this thing, man. I'm definitely liking, definitely liking this pot right here. Dude, that's mint. Check it out.
cop lights dude and that's this is this is in bright sun like you see the light right there this is in bright sun and that thing coming to me coming this way i can see those lights all the way down there so that is pretty slick and for the fact that it also has the brake lights so we've got directionals so you got left you got right then you've got throttle brake that is pretty slick this rc has definitely got it going on man i'm i'm liking this thing i think i'm gonna really like this thing on 3s but i can definitely see i could definitely see these ties getting chewed up i might have to try uh taking the gyro off like putting it to zero because right now it's like at 55 percent or something like that so i think i'm gonna take it off and we'll see what happens when you go in reverse the gyro wants to seem to swing it to one side if you want to see what this thing does on 3s that's going to be in in part two and i may open up the diff i may also open up the diffs i'm dying here i may also open up the front and rear diffs just to check them out just to see leave kind of the front alone but maybe just maybe see if i can take some fluid and stuff it in the rear and give that rear end a little bit of a little bit of a lockup. i think that would i think that would probably help a little bit front a little bit open but give the rear a little bit of a lock so i'm out ripping it up what are you doing today